Hello, kindergarten. Welcome. It's Mrs. Fredrickson. We're going to do some math together. Remember, math is when we learn about numbers and shapes. So let's get started. We're going to count to 10 starting here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good job. Now I'm going to point to one of those numbers and I want you to tell me what number it is. Are you ready? Okay, my friends, let's look. What number is 3? Good job. Okay, the next number, what number is 7? Very nice. What number is 10? Good. Okay, what number is one, good job. What number is five? Very nice. How about this one? Two, the number two. What number is eight? Very good. And what number is this one? Four, nice job. Let's see, what did we miss? Ooh, what number is this one? Nine, yes. If we get all of them, I think maybe this one? Six, good job. If we missed one, that's okay. Very good, kindergarten. Now, I'm going to hold up some shapes, and I want you to tell me which shape I'm going to ask. I'm going to say, which shape is the triangle? Which shape is the triangle? A triangle has three sides. This one is the triangle. It has three sides. One, two, three. Good. All right, my friends. Which shape is the circle? Which shape is the circle? It goes around and around. Yes, this one is the circle. It goes round and round. Good, kindergarten. Which shape is the rectangle? Which shape is the rectangle? A rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. Which shape is the rectangle? Yes, this one. It has one, two short sides and one, two long sides. And the long sides are the same and the short sides are the same. That is a rectangle. Good, all right, my friends, I have one more for you. Which shape is the oval? Which shape is the oval? Yes, this is the oval. Remember, you can make an oval with your mouth by saying oval. Nice, there is our oval. It kind of looks like an egg. Good job, kindergarten. All right, my friends. Now, I would like to see if you have maybe some paper, pencil, or a dry erase board and marker or something that you can write with. Pause this video and go get something to write with so that you can write with Mrs. Fredrickson. We don't want to leave you out. All right. When you get back, we're going to be doing some drawings. And we're going to do with numbers, and I'm gonna hold it up. So, I would like you to draw this many circles. Ready? Did I draw this many circles? Yeah, let's count. One, two. This is the number two. I drew two circles. Good, kindergarten. Okay, let's see. I'm going to erase. And we're going to pick a different number. Okay, let's draw. Ready? We're going to draw this many trees. So look at this number. We're going to draw trees. Let's see. I'm going to draw my trees. Now, I'm just going to draw my trees with a stick like that. And then they're going to be a triangle on top. Did I draw the right amount of trees? 
This is the number four. Did I draw four trees? Let's count. One, two, three, four. I did. I drew four trees. Did you draw four trees? I hope so. Okay, let's do another one. But this time, I'm going to draw, and then you're going to tell me what number it is. So I am going to draw this many circles over here. And then this is going to be a different group over here. Which circle has this, or which group has this many circles? This is the number three. Which group has three circles? One, two, three. This group, this one has three circles. Nice. How many does this one have? Does it have three? One, two, three, four. It does not have three circles. Let's do one more of those together, my friends. We need to raise. Okay, I'm going to draw some circles again. Are you ready? Okay, my friends. Which group has five circles? Which group has five circles? Does this one have five circles? One, two, three, four. It does not have five circles. Does this group have five circles? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it does have five circles. This is the number five, and this has five circles. Good. All right, my friends, I'm going to turn us this way. I have a board down here. Now, this is called a 10 frame. And in a 10 frame, it, we're going to be counting up to 10. So I'm going to get down this way so that you can see me and the 10 frame. Move it a little further down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in some circles with black, and then you're going to tell me how many more I need to make the number 10. So this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes. Are you ready? This is really tricky and hard, but I think you can help me figure it out. Okay, let's go. I'm going to actually use a different color marker. I'm going to use blue. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six circles in my 10 frame, how many more do I need to make 10? I have six circles, but I want 10. How many more circles do I need to draw? Let's see. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I want seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow. So how many circles did I need? One, two, three, four. I needed four more circles. So six circles plus four circles equals. 10 circles. Good job, kindergarten. That is really, really hard math, and you did it. It was a challenge. All right, my friends, you can do that at home. You can try to figure out how many of something you need to make 10. Maybe you have four pairs of shoes or four shoes. How many more would you need to make 10 shoes? Maybe you have seven candy bars. How many more candy bars would you need to make 10? Go ahead and try to find some way to make 10, just like we did with the circles. And if you don't have anything, you can do what Ms. Fredrickson did, and you can draw it. All right, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.